This type of facility is essential to be able to manage the increasing workload uh, that we're seeing with cancer nowadays. We have cancer treatment here in Perth that is not available anywhere else in Australia. Sadly, cancer is something many of us will encounter in our lives one way or another. There are more patients requiring treatment for cancer nowadays. Cancer specialist Dr Paul Cannell says with more people being diagnosed, the state's cancer services and staff are under the pump. Some cancers are increasing in frequency, but also as our treatments get better, we're better able to manage patients for longer than we have been in the past. Here in WA, treating cancer is a number one priority. The reason being, the number of cancer patients in the state are expected to rise by about 5% every year. Now that's much higher than the national average, which is just over 3%. And it's because of our booming population. Here at the new Fiona Stanley Hospital, they're setting up a multi-million dollar state-of-the-art cancer facility. This facility is designed to manage patients who are who are being treated as outpatients and then will go home at the end of the day following their treatment. This morning we're visiting a room specially created for bone cancer patients. So Belinda, this is one of our bone marrow transplant rooms and the air in these rooms is filtered uh, to reduce the risk of environmental infection and it's at positive pressure so it flows from the inflow through out into the uh, antechamber here. It's all about reducing the risk of cross infection. As this door closes, their rooms will be pressured to only allow one way clean airflow. And here in Nedlands, another huge complex dedicated to fighting the disease. Sir Charles Gardner's $54 million cancer centre is using groundbreaking technology. It's really a, a very advanced industrial robot. Oncologist Dr Colin Tang says this $9 million radiation robot called Cyberknife is one of only a handful in the world and Charlie's has the only one in our country. We can deliver very high doses of radiation to very well-defined area of the body while sparing a normal tissue. It would be dangerous if it was any theatre. 88-year-old David Burton was the first patient to undergo the Cyberknife to treat his lung cancer. This thing just goes round you, there is no noise, there is no pain, there's no after effects. Radiation technician Peter Padaya says using this technology means patients have fewer side effects. We treat his tumour in real time, so we synchronise the robot with him, so we're able to treat his tumour and effectively not treat any other normal tissue. A couple of months ago, Richard Allen couldn't give his son Richard the thumbs up. After losing his leg from cancer four years ago, he's back receiving chemo for a tumour twisted around the nerve in his arm. Everyone, you know, when they're diagnosed with cancer, they think it's the end, but these people give you hope. So this is where you come before your treatment? Yeah, while I'm waiting to be called in for treatment for chemo or radiation, um, it's a nice place to come and chill out, lay on the couch with a blanket, head on the pillow, read a book. It makes it go a bit quicker and it's a bit more enjoyable. And there's a special place for younger patients like 23-year-old Stevie Markin. She's going through aggressive chemo and radiotherapy for a rare cancer in the muscle of her jaw. It just makes it very easy uh, for patients to have all their treatment in one place to be able to get um, multiple opinions from multiple specialists all in one place. Until we find a cure for those handed one of life's harshest hurdles, Perth's state-of-the-art cancer centres are working overtime to make a difference. Let's hope there's light at the end of the tunnel, you know, that's all you can do.